Oh, this is a brand new series here on the channel called Making Manga. And we're going to be going through each week. I'm going to be talking about what I've gotten done to get my story done. So basically, I'm starting something from scratch. And I'm going to be discussing with you guys everything that sort of I get done in a week. So that you know, like, what goes into, like, the pre-production stage. And also have a rough idea of, like, how long things take. And get a sort of more realistic idea of, you know where you could be at. I'm not saying that everyone's experience is going to be the same as like you might be a bit more thorough or just less experienced. Some things may take you longer or less time, especially just depending on how big your project is. Like if you're planning to write the next one piece, you may want to give yourself more time for different things so that you don't write yourself into a corner. But if you're writing a one shot, you might not want that level of detail. So this is my manga journal, which I do have a video talking about. Go watch it. Um, but I filled it up because this is mostly got like most of this is filled with things from before I started. So this green tab is like these couple of pages at the very end of the stuff relevant to this. But everything else beforehand was previous projects this year. And then I started a new fresh manga journal, which I've got a couple of pages worth of stuff in here because bum, ba, da, bum, I got an iPad and I'm finding this is really helpful. So this is called Freeform, which is like. It comes free, pre-installed. I didn't even have to go find it, and it's great. I also got a pencil, because, you know, I got a... I, this is basically because my laptop is bad, and I'm starting uni and stuff, and I wanted... This is so that I've got something I can use that for that, and also for art. So you kind of... Uh, let's start with a story plan, as that's what I did first. Um, you kind of create these, like, these mind maps, and you can, like, co like put images in, text, and, like, you can highlight and draw... So most of the things I, like, write with the pencil. Um, so, yeah, like, I was went through, made the story, like, planned out the broad strokes of the story. I will be going into more detail and stuff, like, when I'm scripting and planning out individual arcs. Basically, I planned out the big things. So, you know, like, the, the, like, the overarching story using Dan Harmon's story circle, which... I recommend looking into if you're unfamiliar with it, as I find it a bit more helpful than the hero's journey, as the hero's journey refers to things too specifically, I find, and I take it literally, and I'm like, oh, well, I don't really want a mentor character in my story, so how am I going to fulfill the meeting the mentor? Or, I mean, we don't really have a goddess, what does this mean? Because, you know, I just find that it's more helpful, and it's got, like, like, the Dan Harmon's isn't designed specifically for your typical, like, adventure, Star Wars kind of story. And then after that, I started working on, like, my characters. So this is, like, my protagonist. You know, you got the inspiration of, like, what kind of characters it's they're similar to. So I guess you're getting a sense of the vibe of the character from that, if you know any of these people. Um... And, you know, just writing out basic sort of information about them. Did the same for the Deuteragonist. So, like, the second most important character. Uh, wrote out, like, a pitch. Which I do have, for next week, I will be writing a proper pitch and synopsis. So, the synopsis being what will go on Manga Plus. So, I will have, like, you know, how I'm going to sell the story to people. And explain what it's about. So, if you're curious, basically, it's magical boys, but they're vampires. Is... So, like, Sailor Moon meets Seraph of the End, or just Sailor Moon, but they're dudes, and they're vampires, is probably the best way I can explain it. Um, and then I was working on, you know, developing my characters, as I feel like that's important to get early, because they're the heart of your story, like, the characters are what people get attached to, and what people like. So, like, I colour-coded it, so each different character is a different colour, so, like, which information is relevant to them, to, you know, diversify, because I want them to stand out for each other, from each other, and, you know, writing things from different articles, pasting, and then working, the most recent sort of thing I've been working on is the villains, and I've still got a bit more to do with this that'll bleed into next week, because, you know, they're also an important part of the story. I also did create a Pinterest mood board for my, um, protagonist, but yeah. And... I should show off. I did create one artwork that I have so far. It's kind of like... Because I was trying to come up with ideas for the thumbnails for the series. And I was thinking maybe to have some of my art. Like, especially because as I get later into it, I'll have actual relevant things to you. Yeah.
These are some images to give you an idea. So, you know, the magical boy aspect. The, the guys all run a bakery together because, you know, they're vampires. They're up all night. That That's what they're doing. And then, you know, picture of tea. And I'm thinking more to make it related to crows rather than bats. As, like, fledgling is a term for, like, a baby vampire sort of thing. And just, I feel like it'd be cool if they turn into birds. I still haven't worked out the magic yet. I have some rough ideas, but that's something that will come up next, like, soon. Because, you know, the story and characters are more important than necessarily the details of exactly how the world works. But I definitely will have more information of that soon enough. And yeah, thanks for watching. This is a bit of a shorter video. Um, I would have screen recorded from the iPad, but I only just got it. And I tried to download an app and recorded all of the stuff relating to it speaking, but then realized that it was just recording what was going on the screen and hadn't recorded my voice. So I decided to go for this, you know, handheld version, but hopefully my production quality will increase across this series. And if you guys have got any questions or um, any tips, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching and happy manga creating. I hope that this is maybe we can make be manga buddies and all make manga together.